Today, I'm taking a closer look into probably two of the biggest names in the web hosting world. It's Bluehost and HostGator. No matter if you're a pro or a total novice, I'll try to make this review as easy to understand as possible. And to drop you one interesting fact straight on, both of these providers have the same corporate parent company. So, are they the same, similar, or nothing alike? Keep watching to find out. Yeah, on the surface, they might look calm and steady. They both offer similar pricing and seemingly kind of the same hosting plans. But once you look deeper, you start noticing things and start to realize that while similar, these shared hosting providers are tailored for a different audience. The only true way to start comparing these shared hosting providers is to look at how well they perform by today's internet standards. Every provider has wild statements on their website, promising you super speeds and, of course, having photos of people who don't look like they know much about hosting. Okay, but that is a rant for next time. So I played around, installed custom WordPress themes on both, and looked at how well these sites manage to perform. Then, I used the tool that pings my site every few minutes to see whether it's still available and pings me right back. I left this monitor for over a month and went on to do another test. After that period, the results. Bluehost scored a 99.99% uptime with 2 minutes of downtime and HostGator scored a 99.98% of uptime with 5 minutes of downtime. While Bluehost doesn't even have an uptime guarantee, we can see that these results are great. HostGator also delivers its promised uptime of 99.9%. .9%. Of course, with attention spans so short nowadays, you need your website to load fast. So I put both of my created websites in GT Metrics to see how fast they load. Bluehost and HostGator hosting was almost a draw on speed, and a draw on good speed nonetheless. Bluehost website loaded in 2.0 seconds, whereas HostGators took 2.1 seconds to fully load. Just a 0.1 second difference won't be a real issue for any user out there. And the good thing is that both of these providers are faster than the recommended 2.5 seconds loading time by Google. So for small to medium web projects like blogs, business landing pages, or even small e-commerce shops with a few products, both providers will be more than enough performance-wise to leave your users impressed. And if you found Bluehost or HostGator interesting at any time in this video, don't forget to use our discount links in the description down below. It takes a lot of time to run a channel like this full-time, so these affiliate links help us and you save some money and of course for us to keep us independent. It's a win-win in my book, so thank you all and let's jump back into the video. But what truly separates these industry leaders? Well, in my humble opinion, Bluehost has the best and most beginner-friendly control dashboard. It's very intuitive and easy to navigate. As you can see on the screen, everything is grouped and you're not overburdened with 500 different buttons or tools. Installing WordPress is a cakewalk. Just typing your info and Bluehost does all the rest. If you're new to hosting controls or want to have the most comfortable experience, then Bluehost is a great option. But HostGator's web hosting uses an old cPanel control system, which may feel like an old glove to some of you pros out there. Even if it is somewhat outdated, it is still the most popular control dashboard for a good reason. But for new users or even beginners, it can feel less intuitive and even confusing at some points. If we look at both providers' cheapest plans, HostGator's plans currently start at around $3 per month. If you prepay for free years, of course, just a year of hosting will be around $4. Bluehost's plan currently costs at around $3 per month, but it's just for one year of hosting. Free years of hosting raises the monthly prices to just around $5 a month. But another caveat, HostGator allows you to select hosting terms from a month to free years. So you can get both really short hosting plans or you can save money and prepay for the longest period, but with a discount. Bluehost only has two choices here, 12 months or 36 months of billing. And the reverse thing happens here. To get the discounted price, you'll have to go with the shortest period. Furthermore, did you know that Bluehost and HostGator are owned by the same parent company called Newfold Digital? They have a ton of hosting experience and own over 60 smaller companies, so they are a big player in the hosting world. 
Personally, it's not as bad as it may seem. And these two providers do show at least some signs of improvement. No big company wants a bad product. And with hosting, you can't just make a quick buck and disappear. It's a service after all. And if it sucks, people will simply leave. Both providers' packages are business ready. Having a free SSL certificate, a free website name for a year nonetheless, professional email accounts, and 24-7 customer support by phone or live chat. The biggest difference in resources is that while HostGator gives you both unmetered storage space and bandwidth, Bluehost only gives you 50 gigabytes of storage. Now, unmetered doesn't really mean unlimited, but as long as you use these resources for your website purposes and don't start hosting movies, you can expand and grow both in traffic and in size without overthinking your plan's limitations. But don't throw out Bluehost just yet. 50 gigabytes of storage space for one website is seriously quite a lot. And there are just a few types of single projects that would be able to fill such an amount. Another slippery thing is that HostGator uses much slower HDD storage drives for your website. While the 50 gigabytes you get with Bluehost are SSD drives, meaning your overall site's performance will be faster and better optimized. I mentioned the free transfer of my website with HostGator. So what's the situation with Bluehost? Well, you do get an option to transfer your site for free. If, and that's a very big if, your site is running on WordPress. Some of you might not want to build everything from scratch or use third-party themes. That's where the website builders come into play. And both Bluehost and HostGator's website building capabilities are really impressive, but in different ways. The Bluehost free website builder is based on WordPress, which means you use it inside WordPress itself. For users that want to have easier web building capabilities, but still have all WordPress blogging features, this is one of the best choices. HostGator Website Builder tries to fill in a different niche. It has a full drag and drop feature and lets you really get creative with the design of your website. I kind of wasn't really expecting such flexibility with HostGator. These are a few designs I was able to create myself in just a few hours. So it's a sleek, modern, and probably one of the easiest drag and drop builders to use. And if you don't want to use WordPress or other CMS to manage your site, this builder is not based on WordPress. My Bluehost versus HostGator review is over. Overall, I slightly preferred Bluehost because it was just so beginner friendly, simple to work with and fast. But don't get the wrong idea. HostGator is a great provider, just not really beginner friendly for my taste and has a bit slower performance. What do you think? What's your experience with either Bluehost or HostGator? No matter whether you're a noob or a pro, I would love to hear your opinions down below and what are you looking into when you're searching for the best hosting provider. I have a few videos planned out, but if you have any suggestions or something you'd like to see, just let me know as I'm signing out here for today and I'll see you all in the next video.